welcome guys. My name is Emmanuel Prime and today I'm going to be teaching us waves. Okay? So waves is a topic in physics. So we are going to be talking about that today. So we are going to be discussing about waves. Okay. So first and first, we need to understand what is wave. We need to understand what is a wave. What is wave? Okay? So when we say a wave, a wave is basically a disturbance which is in form of kinetic energy that is transmitted from one point to another in a medium without the permanent displacement of the particles of the medium. So what does that mean? It means that whenever we talk about a wave, first and first, a wave is a disturbance. It is a disturbance. Another thing, it is in form of kinetic energy. Okay? And it is transmitted from one point to another in a medium without the permanent displacement. So without, without permanent displacement, without permanent displacement of the particles of that medium. So what does that mean? So whenever you say that a wave is a disturbance, it means that a wave tries to remove an object from its state of equilibrium. So imagine you have a surface of still water, okay, and all of a sudden you put a stone inside that still water. You see that because of the presence of that stone, the surface of the water will be disturbed. Now, again, we said that the wave is in form of kinetic energy. So what does that mean? It means that it is a, an energy that is in motion. So remember that kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an object in motion. So a wave is in form of what? Kinetic energy. And then another thing we said was that it occurs without the permanent displacement of the particles of the medium. So what does that mean? It means that a wave does not permanently remain in the medium where it is being transmitted. Okay, so what does that mean? If I shake the surface of water, you see that the surface of the water will be disturbed, but after a while, the surface comes back to its normal position and rest. Okay? So that is what wave is simply talking about. Now, after talking about wave, we need to also know that there are different ways we can classify waves. Okay? So generally, we can classify wave based on two conditions. So what are the two conditions? The first condition we can use to classify a wave is based on their um, mode of propagation mode of propagation mode of propagation so we can classify a wave based on mode of propagation and we can also classify a wave based on the material medium requirement so material medium requirement so meaning we can know if the wave needs a material medium to propagate or not now, when we talk about mode of propagation, under mode of propagation, which we are going to talk about first, let me take this off. So under mode of propagation, we have two types of wave under this classification. And the two types of wave under this classification is longitudinal waves. We have longitudinal wave and we have transverse wave. Transverse wave. These are the two different types of wave we have under this class okay so when we talk about longitudinal wave when we say longitudinal wave it is a wave that travels parallel to its source of production so what does that mean it means that if this is the source if this is the source of the wave then it travels parallel to the source it travels parallel to the source so this is the wave being propagated propagated out of that source Okay, and on the other hand, we have transverse wave. Now, a transverse wave is a wave which travels perpendicular to the source. It travels perpendicular to its source. Perpendicular means at right angles. Meaning, if we have a source of a transverse wave, it travels perpendicular. So, perpendicular means up, down, up, down movements. Okay, now, under longitudinal waves, we have some prominent example, which you're going to see in your exams. And that example is sound wave so this is a very good example of longitudinal wave even if you don't know about the other ones make sure that you know that sound wave is an example of longitudinal wave on the other hand we have examples of transverse wave an example of transverse wave here is water 
waves okay is water waves so that is an example of transverse wave we are going to talk about more examples of transverse wave later on when we discuss the next classification of waves then on the other hand we have the second class which is material medium requirements okay which is material medium requirement so i write material material medium requirements okay material medium requirement now based on this kind of classification we have two types of waves also and what are the two types of wave we have the one we call the mechanical wave we have the mechanical wave and we have the electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave so these are the two types of wave we have based on this classification so remember in the first mode or first classification we had um, two types of wave which we call longitudinal and transverse in this classification we have mechanical and electromagnetic now under mechanical waves what do they actually talk about so when we say mechanical waves mechanical waves are waves which require material medium for their propagation so what does that mean it means that if you are a material if you are a mechanical wave you will need something to carry you from one place to another okay examples of mechanical wave we have sound so the sound we talked about before is an example of mechanical wave why is sound a mechanical wave because sound waves need medium to carry it from one point to another and examples of that medium examples of the medium can be air it can be air so as I'm talking to you, if you were here with me, you see that the way the sound will get to your ear or your eardrum is through the air. So it is going to move through the air. And then we can also have a medium. Another medium can be water. So sound can also travel through water. Sound can also travel through glass or any other solid or solids so these are examples of material medium so whenever we say material medium it basically means um, a medium through which a wave can be what propagated now once we know what um, mechanical waves are and we know that sound wave is a very good example we can also have other examples of um, mechanical wave another example of mechanical wave is uh, maybe waves on strings waves on strings waves on strings so waves on strings that is whenever you pluck a string or maybe a rope you know um, when you have a rope and then you try to shake that rope you generate waves on that rope so the waves on that rope are examples of mechanical wave now even the water wave we mentioned earlier even the water wave we mentioned earlier is an example of uh, what is an example of mechanical wave so water wave is there now on the other hand we have the electromagnetic wave okay so when we say electromagnetic wave these are waves that do not require material medium for their propagation what does that mean it means that for them to move from one point to another they don't need anything that we convey them they don't need anything that will carry them from one point to another okay they don't need anything that will carry them from one point to another they don't need this medium that we just mentioned here they can propagate on their own and examples of electromagnetic wave can be summarized in the acronym r i v u x y so we are going to talk about these guys and what they are all about